Uh, let's talk about Apple. As I mentioned, that is one of Buffett's favorites. For a long time, it wasn't. And then he finally got into Apple in a big way. Now, shares of Apple are in the red today, as you can see, down 4.5% following those heightened fears over the coronavirus. That did not stop Buffett from expressing his love for Apple. Watch what he said this morning. Probably the best business I know in the world. And we own 5.5% of it. And that is a bigger commitment that we have in anything except insurance and the railroad. So it's, it's our third largest business. It's an incredible company. <laughs> and and uh, I should have appreciated it earlier. There you have it. I should have appreciated it earlier. I was remembering for a long time, you know, Buffett was kind of painted as anti-tech, or if not anti-tech, just didn't know no, about it. Anti-tech, I think oh, is thank fair. You. And his big thing was, <laughs> I'm also not going to invest in, yeah. in businesses I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, I had the chance to interview Buffett years ago for a fortune story actually about C's Candies, mm -hmm. which Berkshire bought in the 80s. And, you know, I went to the office in Omaha, and you walk in, and there's no computer in there, as, as everyone knows. There's framed photos, and it's very old school. And then finally he got into Apple. He loves it. Apparently, he got rid of his flip phone, too. Did, Did finally you see that? An that? iPhone, <laughs> finally got the iPhone. But he also says he doesn't know anything about C's candies, either. Yeah. He says he hasn't visited in years because he doesn't know anything about right. candy making. He likes low overhead, That's right. seasonal yes. business. You can rely on it. That's right. Tiny growth in profits every year, but reliable, consistent. Yeah. He's very self-deprecating, but yeah. obviously he, he knows a little bit about what he's talking about. Yeah. He does. And I think he's excited, too. There's a lot of new things coming out from Apple. There's some news leaking about their new headphones um, through the, the Target dashboard there. So it's kind of a scoop that they got on the new headphones that are coming out. And they're expecting updates across their whole portfolio this year. So it's, it's a good time for Apple. What I think is interesting of what he said this morning about the move that they've made in Apple and how big that is in comparison to all of the other company. So when you go to Omaha for the annual shareholders meeting, you walk around the floor, it's like Fruit of the Loom and Justin's Boots and, you know, NetJets, all these companies. We keep talking about when is the elephant coming? When are they buying another company? He seems very happy and even talked about it in the letter to be taking stakes in yep. companies, sizable stakes. So is the next elephant, does it necessarily have to be a whole company uh, because he says you pay a premium for that and you can get into these names in sizable moves by just going out and taking shares. He's got 5% of Apple. Yeah. I also think the reason it's been a while, Kraft Heinz uh, was a big <laughs> ding yeah. on Buffett and Berkshire, you know, getting involved with 3G Capital on that deal that has not gone well so far, but we'll see.